Hello everyone, and welcome back to my survival series. So, last time I left off in the cave, and I just decided to collect all the ores, that, like basically the iron that I saw. I found out one emerald, which is right here. So I guess that emerald was a lucky find. Because, what height am I? Height 22, so I am already really deep in this world. So this episode, I'm hoping to find diamonds. Because I haven't really played this game that much, I just spent a few minutes on it. So this is where the tunnel ends, I guess. So I'll just start a new path looking for another cave, because I always need a big cave. This one was filled with resources, so I will be in here most of the time if I need coal. But I'm just going to go down deeper, so what height? 13. I'm just going to get down to 12 at least, because I want to be at diamond height, and this is usually where it is. Actually, I think I'll, you know what, I'm just going to get a bit deeper, because it just, like at least one block deeper might even do the trick. Because I will really need to find diamonds soon because last episode I got seven levels from killing the chickens and the sheep on some of the mobs so I will really need to use this experience soon I find five diamonds and that's a good thing because then I can start making my nether portal an enchantment table and I can also make a pickaxe which will be very useful soon because I will really need this stuff and when I get to the end, I will probably try getting some ends to decorate a bit. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I'm just thinking out. Like, I don't know what's going to happen later in the series. I'm just guessing what I should do. I'm probably going to make a nice building out of the end stone. But I will definitely need lots of materials in order to get there. Even if they're not useful for that, I'm just getting them anyways. Because I really will need materials. I'm going to be building soon. And I know these material, and I know I should be like switching my pickaxe out when I have materials like that, like gravel in the way. That way I don't waste their ability, but I don't really care. It takes up some time. Seeing YouTubers do it, and I I'm guessing that's the reason why. Because I guess a pickaxe is a good weapon instead of like stone or something. But for now, I'm just going to mining a bit. Like this episode's just going to probably be me in the mine. But, like until I run out of wood. And it's going to be like a maze. And I like mazes. But they're really hard. So basically. If I find diamonds today. I'm just going to hope that there's five nearby. But. I just came back down here. I left my iron ore smelting. Upstairs my house. I made two other furnaces. Because. Usually when I need to cook something. Either the furnace is busy cooking something valuable, or food or something, and I'll definitely need my furnace open. So I made two others, So now I have three furnaces. But last episode was really lucky for me, because I got everything right once it hit night time. So, and I was also able to find some emeralds at the end, so that's good. Probably should have made a shovel, but I'll just hit, I'll just this way and start with my chicken. I don't want to waste my pickaxe, nothing else will make it faster, so I'll just kill it with chicken. But basically, I read, I remember reading somewhere, I can't remember where, but I know this is true because it's happened. You can find any kind of diamonds near gravel and dirt. I prefer dirt though, because gravel can't kill, I mean, gravel can kill you, dirt can't. Unless, of course, like, you stupidly like, suffocate in it, I don't know how. Maybe like with an ender pearl. But I put the ender pearl in my chest. I am not going to need it and I'm not going to use it. Once I get at least 15, then I might use a few. But I at least need to save up to 20 if possible. Because it might take a while for me to find my stronghold. Because I found one really quickly once. It was so hard. So yeah. Hopefully this series... Is it's going to end up being awesome. Because I might even put this map in the description for download when I'm done if it's good. But I've seen someone actually troll someone else on April Fool's Day. People who might have seen it will know what I'm talking about. Others who don't. 
I'm just gonna say the YouTubers, they were Moo Moo Mage and someone else I completely forget. I am sorry if you're watching this. But basically, they were in their own survival series around a lake. Their house was huge. They had a bunch of farms. And then Moo Moo Mage got trolled. He quit the game because all of their stuff was blown up. But it was hilarious. He basically rage quit. It was the funniest rage quit I've seen. I've never actually seen any other rage quits. I actually whole thing I might maybe have one. Like I don't want to, but I might. Like I can't tell. But it would be funny if I did. That would probably be the end of the series if I rage quit though. So really I'm just gonna be mining today. Cause I will definitely need these soon. Hopefully like I might have someone join like I might have one of my friends join me. Um and if you wanna search up their channels, I will tell you right now. So the first channel is Jason Carlton. Basic. So that's a simple thing to search up. And then the second one is Capital U. So basically it's Capital U and Ultra, Capital S and Smash, and Capital G and Gamer. Those are their channels. So two people have subscribed to one of to Ultra Smash Gamer. It was Jason Carlton and someone else that he knows. He will pretend to be his father. And Jason Carlton has 8 subscribers, 5 videos if you want to check any of those out. So, yeah, I might have them join me for the boss battles. Because it's going to be really intense and I might need some help. So I'm going to have a lot of spare diamonds left over. If I go mining a lot. I might go mining off camera if necessary. There goes my iron pickaxe. Once my stone pickaxe breaks, I'm probably going to go to the surface. Been a short video so far, but whatever. I can always make more pickaxes. There's a reason why I just came down here was because it would take forever for my iron to smell. Plus, I did get some gold, so if I want, I could make a gold pickaxe if I wanted to. But I have heard using a golden sword in the enchantment table will actually be good, because then I can get the good enchants and the, instead of the bad ones. So, that's going to be good. I'm just going to have a gold pickaxe for that one reason. Guess I could always make it if I kill things. And oh my god, you have to be kidding me. You know what? I'm just going to mine this out really quick, see how many there is. I don't care if it's only one. I at least want diamonds. Ooh, two. So I can at least make an enchantment table. Probably going to do that if I feel like it. It would be stupid to do that, but I don't mind. Because I at least get enchanted things. So, you know what? I'm just going to go back to the surface right now. Because I will need that diamond. And while I'm at the surface, I'm probably going to make two more iron pickaxes. Because I don't really need this stone one anymore. Or I'm probably going to put it in the chest. And actually, I'm going to make flint and steel if I ever get flint. I'm probably going to make it like a sacrifice pit with one netherrack. Because on my other game, I did that. With basically, I sacrificed all the weak things to fake gods. Me and my sister did it. It wasn't on the computer. It was on our iPads, but whatever. So, basically, it's bas I made netherrack, and then, like, you light the thing up. Then, basically, you burn everything you can for the gods. And if you burn enough, the gods will be pleased. If you don't, then you have to find something. So I am back at my house, and man, I am starving. Also, when I killed those sheep yesterday, I got some mutton. So I will probably take that down with me. So, wow, I got a lot of mutton. So, yeah. so I'm just going to get this. So how much iron do I have? Okay. So I'm just going to cook up my iron and my gold. Put my emerald away because I do not want to lose it. And I'm just going to take this junk out of my chest and throw it into the lava that I've seen outside. Because I'm not going to need anything. I'm just going to keep that dirt if necessary for building purposes. And it takes at least half this cobble. I'll make a few torches while I'm here. Because I'll need this stuff. It's going to be important for me. Because I do not want to die. I died last episode. So I do not want to die again. 
Because that would be horrible, being this far into the series and having died quite a few times. So I have now made my iron pickaxes and some more torches. And I don't know why I put my hood in here. I'll need this. Whoops. Wow. You know what? Just, just get in there, you stupid stone pickaxe. So it is nighttime out. Instead of going to the lava, I'm just going to throw this stuff out. Because I do not need this stuff. Because it is going to be very dangerous. Yeah, it's already dangerous. I'm being attacked. Luckily, I'm keeping it in e in normal mode, at least for a challenge. Like, I want a challenge, but not a hard one. You know what? I'm gonna kill these guys. Where'd they go? Oh god, I hate when this happens. Okay, I found them. Never mind. Know where they went? Killing the zombie first. I'm just scared to get shot by the skeleton. Okay, they're both dead. Oh my god, he dropped his bow. This is good. I believe you can repair bows with string. I'm gonna check that right now. If not, I don't know what you repair them with. I'm guessing you might need to repair them with other bows. So I'm just gonna throw this stuff in for now. I'm gonna just organize my inventory of it. But so far I'm doing pretty well. It's not like I'm gonna die anytime soon. And you know what? I just realized something I should probably do. So get some of this iron out, take half of it. So I just realized I have enough iron to at least make some armor. I'm gonna need this though. Okay, so I am fully geared in iron armor on the first no wait, on the like wait, is it the fourth day? I'm not sure. But I have done a lot of mining and if you just saw there, I moved my tunnel. It seemed like it was going to take too long. I just decided to bend it over a bit. So now to get back there to get those diamonds. Hopefully I find a cave soon. I will really need that cave. Because right now I just have to stick to this type of mine. And it is kind of boring mining like this. Because I really need caves. Like to me caves are like the best thing if they're long and tunnel -y. Because it's so hard to find anything if you run out of torches. So it gives it a nice little challenge for me. But I am so glad I found these diamonds so soon. Because, like, you never really find diamonds this fast in a game. It usually takes, like, maybe 10 episodes. Like, I've seen series where it takes so long. Oh, so it was near dirt. Wait, is that, is that zombie scrawling? Okay, I think I hear zombies. So I'm just going to quickly turn off my blocks because I just realized I probably shouldn't have it on. Oh, is it me walking on them or what? So you know what, since it's just like that, I'm just going to turn it back on. So I don't know how to turn it off. So I am just going to keep on mine. So I'm really going to... So really quick, I'm just going to see if I can find the cave. So it sounds like it's in this direction. Hopefully I can find it soon. Yep. By the, by the sounds of it, it's definitely in this direction. Or this area. So I am hoping to find the cave soon. It really sounds like one's nearby. I'm going to see something. Yep, it's definitely in this direction. I know it's around here somewhere. Sounds like it's coming from above me. I'm just gonna dig up. Okay, it sounds like it's coming from this area now. So hopefully I find it. Okay, I'm very lost right now. I can't find the second cave. Once I find it though, I'm probably gonna try and make a little area to get back easily. Sounds like it's coming from this area. I'm not sure. So, since I'm getting super lost and I don't want to lose where I am, I'm just going to, like, start clearing out the area where I found these diamonds. Because usually there are a bunch of diamonds nearby. 
So I'm just going to keep on mining, hoping for diamonds. Just going to do it in a 3x3 area. That way it's not too small, you're not too big. Because usually they're always above you or to, to the sides of you in a tunnel. So hopefully I can find it soon. But since I found only two diamonds this episode, since I can't get any obsidian, I might make a sword. That way I can at least be stronger in defenses. Actually, no. I'm going to save. Because I will probably need better items. And hopefully I can find a village soon. Because hopefully, once I get a village, I might have at least a little area to live in the village. Because I know villagers have pretty bad trades, but some of them are good. Like, there's a farmer. I know that farmers there are definitely good. Because all you have to do is use their farms against them. I've trapped one on a different game. And I have traded with him many a time with his own crops. I have even made the farms bigger in order to trade with others. Like, I made a ginormous sugarcane farm around a lake just in order to trade a villager books. It may not seem worth it, but to me it kind of is. Because I like all villagers, bad or not bad. Because once you unlock all their trades, then you can kill them if you don't like them. But usually I'll keep all of them because they can always have at least some use. Plus you can always, if I'm bored, I can always try making a zombie villager back to a normal villager. I know how to do that stuff, so that could be a fun thing to do. So, hopefully that happens because I'm getting kind of bored. Like, since there's not much to really do for mine... Like, it's not that exciting. I could go exploring, and I think I'll do that. So, actually, I'm thinking of starting a farm next episode. Probably going to start my chicken farm in my house, like, in my mine. It's going to be a nice little farm. Hopefully, though, I can get chickens in there. So, you know what? I'm actually going to start mining. Hey, it's the area I was mining. You know what? Staircase. So I'm just going to go back up to the surface. It seems like there is nothing in the area. And I will definitely start making that chicken farm. Because I have a lot of cooked chicken and some mutton. Not much cooked. Not, it's not much food. So I'll start maybe like a wheat farm. Wait, do I, yeah, I didn't get anything. So hopefully I can find some more chickens if I don't get any from my eggs. But hopefully I at least get one from my eggs. Because I at least need one chicken to start the farm. Because I've seen videos, people have bad luck. Like, I watch YouTube a lot sometimes on the weekends. So, yeah. It's really funny. Because I've seen videos where people literally get no chickens out of like 10 eggs. Whoa. Come down. <laughs> Die. So, I have gotten quite a few bones within the first few days. So, I will probably make a wheat farm too. Like, next episode, I'll probably make my farms. Because I will definitely need one. Wait, I don't know why I'm going this way. Because farms are really important. And usually, I've seen people only kill. I prefer usually no killing. Because I think all mobs shouldn't really die unless they're hostile. So this is where I'm going to make my chicken farm. It's not going to be huge, really. It's going to be big enough for a bunch of chickens. So I know I have a stone pickaxe. I'm just going to grab this really quick and finish off this. Really quickly, I'm just going to make a fence gate so I can get in. Wait. So I believe fence gates are this. And fences are the other way around. With the new recipes, it's getting really confusing. So I have no idea which way is which. But my chicken farms usually end up good. But hopefully, like, I can at least find enough chickens and have, like, to not have to kill them. But this is going to be a really interesting series once, like, everything gets going and once I unlock another one such. 
because the nether is really gonna pick up the pace because it's kind of boring to me right now but all series are usually boring in the beginning i guess because it's not like you really have anything going on so hopefully the series will get better as it goes along and hopefully it gets more interesting so let's see if we get any iron no i didn't so it seems like I already need another chest. So I'm just gonna take a double chest really quick. Cause you always need chests in this game. Oops. Cause if you run out of chests, you're basically dead. You don't have anything to store in any of your good stuff. And anything you are planning on saving, you will have to get rid of. So it takes a while. But that was on getting those diamonds, I mean, seriously, you never really get diamonds that quickly. So, really quick, I'm just gonna light up this corner, it seems kind of dark. And I am going to get my eggs out of this chest. I have four, and I am hoping at least one chicken comes out. Okay, so, at least gonna look for more chickens next episode. Or at least maybe off camera, I'm just gonna look around really quick. So it doesn't seem like there will be any chickens around. So I'm just gonna get a few seeds really quickly. Actually, since it's nighttime, I'm just gonna throw some of the bad stuff away that I don't want. Cause I'll have enough of this stuff already. It's not like I need more. And once I'm done throwing this stuff away, I will probably end the episode. Okay. So there is that. I'm just gonna collect some grass, some seeds really quick. Cause I want this episode to be started really quickly. So I'm feeling like ending the episode now. I will probably make another one about farming later. Oh my god, there was a creeper. Okay, so he's dead. Um, oh, there's a chicken. Wait a minute, can I lure him with seeds? Well, lure two with seeds. So, you know, I'm actually not gonna end the episode just yet. I'm gonna collect some chickens really quick for my farm. Because I will definitely need these little guys. And getting them off camera will be too much of a hassle for me. So, hey, 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 chicken. Hey, chicken, look at these seeds. You want them. Oh, I've got two chickens following me. I see any more, I probably won't go for them. I might go for them off camera. Well, oh my god, I see a skeleton. But where'd the other one go? Well, oh, there he is. So this chicken is loyal. I'm going to name him Alfred. So, you know what? I'm actually going to just make him in his own little pen. In the next episode, I'm not going to make a chicken into a chicken farm. He's just going to give me eggs for a chicken farm. Alfred, come on this way. Because cause he, he's the only loyal chicken here, and I should have at least have a pet. I mean, I know I can tame wolves and such, but I don't feel like doing that yet. Because I can't really find them. Plus, even though I have bones, I'm pretty sure they might be in snowy biomes. So, I'm just going to at least get rid of some of this stuff in my inventory. And I will see you all next time.